Hello, everybody. Hey, today we're going to talk about home prices. I know. What do you think they've done for the last 48 quarters? Gone straight up. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit. This is a presentation from Keeping Current Matters, which is a data company for real estate agents, but I want to give them credit. Um, so rising home prices continue to fuel growing home equity. So what's interesting about this is that the the nationally, these are national numbers, that 43% is the average loan to value ratio in the U.S. That's a record. That means record equity if you look at the other side of that. So if the average is 43%, that means more than 50% of your home is paid off um, in the U.S. And that is a record. That's the highest it's ever been. Well, you know what that means. It probably... In the future, we'll be having things like reverse mortgage surges. Yeah, that, that's always an option. You know, just get down, get down the road. As people get closer to retirement, they've got a lot of equity. You don't have to have your home paid off to get a reverse mortgage. You can tap into that and retire. Yes, that would be very good. There's a lot of things with reverse mor uh, mortgages, though. We're happy to talk to you about that if you have questions. <laughs> it's not really that simple, but it sounds good. Yes, well, there's a lot going um, and on. Like, like the commercials on TV, they sound very good when they talk about reverse mortgages. But uh, anyway. The so kids we, and grandkids aren't big fans of those. Uh-uh. We digress. Um, price changes. Uh, percent. This, over the last five years, California, 49.5%. Pr uh, prices have gone up. Florida, 83%. Idaho, 81%. So some of the highlights, Maine, 78%, Tennessee, 76%. So just, you know, the last five years, that's what's happened there. We've helped a lot of people move to those places. Right, so I picked those. <laughs> um, year over year, California has gone up 4.9%. So just a few little quick tidbits. It's gone up 317% since 1991. It's probably when they started tracking. You started tracking the numbers, and one thing about that, that's across the whole state. So there's areas in the state that have gone up more to Santa Barbara, Montecito, Ventura, Oxnard, basically all of Ventura County. Places like that have just exploded a lot more than a little less than 5% in the last 12 months. Right. Yeah. This is U.S. home prices rose 6.5% between fourth quarter of 22 and fourth quarter of 23. So that's, you know, again, net national. Here's our slide. 48 consecutive months of uh, home positive price appreci appreciation. Now, homeowner equity gains in fourth quarter of 23 is about $49,000. Now, that's an average of the state, like Gary was saying. It's going to vary um, if you're comparing, you know, Central Valley to Montecito. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Percentage-wise, it's going to be a lot bigger numbers right. if, you, if you're buying higher priced Real estate. Yeah. So like I said, Americans are sit, are sit, are sitting on a huge amount, record amount of equity. And there's just so many things that can be done about that. Um, we're seeing a lot of uh, home owners give uh, their millennials money for their down payments to help them get in. We've seen a lot of that. Um, and frankly, a lot of people sell, uh, selling and just moving out of state. So millennials... Now, are they the parents to Generation Z? So Generation Z is coming on pretty strong. Yeah, it's the largest. Um, 30 to 39 is the largest uh, demographic right now, and they're starting to form families, form households, have children, so their needs are changing, and there's a lot of them right no, now. No, that's the millennials. That's, that's... The millennials. Yeah, I Generation think so. Generation Z, right behind the millennials. Yeah. We want to keep our... I get them all confused. Yes, X, Y, Z, P, D, Q. Um... <laughs> Yeah, thirty to thirty-nine year olds is what is what the is is what the guy at Goldman Sachs says. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> yes. He might um, might or might not know, but we're gonna take him at his word that he knows. Uh huh. So price appreciation over the last sixty years, you can I'll just show you that slide. Straight up. <laughs> yes, the and rents, same slide, follow straight up. Like that. Yes, and then sir. the thing that, you know, uh, is really... Very, very good time to be a landlord, especially if you bought down here. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> When's the time to buy real estate? Now. When's the time to sell it? Never, if you're a landlord. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> According to those graphs. Yes. Um, and something, you know, the, the thing that we are always like, buy, 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 
real estate. People's like, what's the best advice you've ever got, uh, gotten? You know, buy real estate early, young. Even if you're not going to live there, I tell some of my first time home buyers, hey, if you can't afford to buy what you want to live in, buy something. Get in the market. You don't necessarily have to live there just because you own it, but get in the market. Right. There's every YouTuber out there's a uh, house hack. You know, buy a duplex, triplex, fourplex. Get your FHA loan, three and a half percent down. Live in one unit at least a year, maybe two, and then buy another property. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty common knowledge out there these days. Yes, and if it's harder to do in coastal California, but it's easier to do in a lot of beautiful places in this beautiful country that we will live in. That's right. Just do it. And this is why this graph, which I will show you, it is the net. Uh, change in a home owner versus a renter. So these are average prices. The net worth of a home owner is 385000 versus the net worth of a renter, 10400 Yeah, if you're renting, it's hard to save up $385,000. <laughs> yeah, so that's why we are, you know, like, please get in the market. Yeah, force savings plan, force 401k, just like anything, if you invest X amount of dollars, even in the S&P 500, whether it's a rental property or a personal property, it all adds up. We have seen for the past, I don't know, 25 years, the market's going to crash. The market's going to crash. Well, it did there for a minute in that span. Um, but we haven't seen that lately, even with the in interest rates being so high. And Lawrence Yoon, who's our chief economist at the National Association of, Re of Realtors, his quote is, Prices will remain firm and will not decline on a national level. Now, we've heard some pockets of that, that there's some pressure, price pressure in Austin, um, but mostly rental apartments they've overbuilt. Um, and then, of course, I just heard Oracle is moving from Austin to Nashville. They moved from Bay Area to Austin. Now they're moving from Austin to Nashville. So when companies move around like that, it probably empties out a lot of apartments. It does. And it's amazing that... The overbuilt in apartments, uh, they've underbuilt in single family homes. Mm -hmm. So they've underbuilt by a large amount, which is affecting prices. There's no question about it. I saw a headline today where BlackRock was going to take $85 billion and invest in single family homes. Why would they do that? Lack of supply. Supply and demand. You got a lack of supply. You own the, you own the supply. You own the market. Mm -hmm. So that's, we're talking about home prices. We don't see them coming down. As a matter of fact, if they decide to lower interest rates right now, there's no talk of that on the horizon, on the foreseeable horizon right now. Um, but if they do, it's just going to drive the market, throw fire, throw fire, throw gasoline onto the fire. Um, because if rates come down, there's going to be more buyers coming out. So do not wait for the interest rates because um, there's no telling what is going to happen. And if the interest rates do go down, Prices are going to shoot up, so you're still going to be, you know, probably worse off than getting in right now and then down the road maybe refinancing. Yeah, maybe we can make it easier for these home builders to build in California. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? So that's part of the reason the home builders, you know, have slowed down the regulations. Well, and the cost. The, everything, all the materials, everything has gone up. The regulations and the hurdles they have to jump through um, is, you know, crazy. Yeah, permit, let's say for an average million dollar house, probably close to eighty to a hundred thousand dollars just for the permits. I would think at least that, because when we heard what they did, what, what the fees were on the fire victims when they had to get all these things lined out for their homes, boy oh boy, it's not for the faint of heart. No, no, a lot of money gets wrapped up right there just in fees and permits, mm -hmm. and the fire victims that lost their homes in the fire. Got a break on those. Mm -hmm. Home builders never do. All right. So anyway, that is your update on home prices. We do not see them falling. Um, Chicken Little is not falling, according to what we have seen, what the experts think too, and that we will just wait and see what happens here as we get closer and closer to the election. They're going up, not down. Yep, that's what we see. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.